Hello and welcome to episode 18 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough with the Iron Teeth Faction. Here we are in cycle 31, day 10. Last time, we uh, started the process of attempting to do water folding. I know there's some of you that for some reason really hate water folding. I don't know why, but um, we have to keep doing it or else we're going to completely flood all of this stuff. Actually, it's flooding right now. So, <laughs> that's half the fun is... Uh, Figuring out when you've done something incredibly stupid and then just fixing it, right? Even in the middle of a, <laughs> even in the middle of a starting the intro for an episode, so we'll um, we'll start letting a lot more water out here so this can stop flowing over the top of the dam. But uh, yeah, suffice to say, we've got some uh, some flow issues, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully the rest of this drains into our emergency bad water reservoir, which turns out was a very good idea to actually construct. So glad that got put in place. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, don't complain about the water folding. We have to do it. I'm sorry, we just absolutely have to do it. So uh, what we need to do is we need to get uh, a lot more of that happening up here. And it's just uh, not happening right now because uh, we have a lot of bad layout setup problems. I don't know what you want to call it. For whatever reason, I, I can watch the Skystorm video 800 times. I can have people try to explain it in the comments. I'm still going to get it wrong. I legitimately do not understand why I can't do it. But I guess that's also a little bit of what makes these videos entertaining is when I make stupid mistakes. So uh, yeah, we're, we're going to roll with it. <laughs> so part of our problem is we just have so much going in all at once that it's it's really not going to stand a chance if we don't have some sort of mechanism with which to enable greater flow to come out now part of the problem with water flow is that if you fold it it also has to unfold which uh, i don't think we have set up properly right now and the current isn't even that fast it's just a huge mass of water that has nowhere to go so what we're going to do is we're going to just blast out a uh, another channel through here so the water can actually escape. So that's going to go... I'm trying to visualize in my head how this is going to end up uh, working here. And I don't want regular beavers uh, building all this stuff. So that's why it's uh, going to be connected to Badwater Creek, because this is a bot-only district, or it's supposed to be. But apparently I have not... Uh, uh, there we go. District crossings were not both set to be bots only. But uh, we need some extra bots. Do we have extra bots? We do not. We have to make extra bots. So we just have all sorts of problems we got to fix all at once. That's... That's the fun thing about about this playthrough is there's just so much that it's gone wrong that we have to address. And uh, it all comes up at the exact same time. But like I was saying, I think part of the speed problems we're having because this, all of this is entering way too late. Because it has nowhere to fold from here because of the way this is set up. So I think what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to blast this, excuse me, blast this out and then have this come in somewhere in this area, which is going to be an interesting problem to solve because of how uh, much dirt there is here. I don't know. I, was, I guess I was looking for a better way to uh, to illustrate that, but I didn't find one. So, so there we go. We can get, uh, we can get all of this. I'm just going to take this all down and then we'll uh, we'll work with it because there's plenty to do plenty to do all right so that's being empty it can probably actually obtain bad water now so we got bad water bad water bad water extract extract we actually don't need this to be here we don't need the capacity for it so i'm just going to get rid of it so we can use the materials to do other stuff and i could set these little bits off here but i don't think that's uh, going to work. One thing we can do, though, is we can get rid of this um, 
kind of crossover path here. And instead, since this is a bot-only district, we can actually build a staircase down into the bad water so our bots can actually, you know, take advantage of their amazing, incredible construction skills. And they'll just zoop, send this all the way through. Yep, we got lots to get done and... Uh, I love it when that's how I have to start <laughs> start off a video with this thing backing up like a overfilled septic tank. Um, we've got so much, so much bad water coming through here. In fact, I'm starting to become concerned about the viability of this uh, this district's wall. I know I just had this blasted out too. So I think what I'm going to have to do. Nope, that's not the R button. That was the E button. I'm going to have to bring this out, and that means I'm going to have to have this accessible for everything. But we're going to need to uh, actually, actually bring this up, which means our, uh, our bridge is going to have to go away and become something else. And these are the 4 by ones um, Oh, if I actually put this at the correct height, I could have both of them be fives. I think. Because I was going to blast this back anyway. So that would actually work out pretty well. Now I, I have to avoid silly billies by uh, only building from the top down, which is kind of an annoying process, but you know how it goes. So to, I guess, avoid that, I don't want to block off any flow in the actual river itself. So I feel like that's just asking for problems. So I will just take some volume out of the lake here so they can actually walk along the whole thing. Yep. Well, no one will ever know because it's down below something else, but I will know, so I have to fix it. There we go. That will, uh, at least for the time being, function, hopefully. All right, so we, we just have to get this whole thing all figured out. I think the easiest thing to do is just going to be to uh, just block this whole thing off and just be done with it. So I don't want it to overflow into our reservoir here. And it's probably not in that much danger, but I would much rather... Uh, be ahead of this, if at all possible. So that they can build all of this without actually getting up on top of it, which is nice. But then up here, we're going to have to, uh, going to have to have some way of getting up top. But it's not that big of a uh, an issue just yet. We just need to make sure we're staying on top of it. And I don't think we had any uh, any beavers get contaminated here. Thankfully, this is just. Um, yeah, this is causing some problems. <laughs> so we uh, we have to, have to, have to, have to blast this out. All right, so this bot does not have power. It needs to be charged, which means we have to have... Oh, you know what I never did? and I never actually uh, finished this. I forgot we were working on that. That's fine. We have a lot of homeless beavers. Well, we have nine. We have 55 that don't have any jobs. Where's my... There it is. Yeah, so we got to get some more housing in here, or maybe just tone down how many of these uh, breeding pods we have going. So we have a bunch of beavers that don't have jobs. So I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to turn, well, that one's almost done, so I'm not going to turn that off, but I'll turn that one off, that one off. And do I have one that's a little bit further along, like a three quarters? doesn't seem like I do. Now the ones that are almost all the way done, I guess, are as close as I'm going to get. So, eh, I'll just pause three for now, because we clearly don't need so many beavers. Problem will take care of itself in due time. Uh, 
All right, so triple dynamite solves that problem pretty easily. Um, I guess I could could just have this whole thing taken care of here. Are they going to be able to reach that? No, they cannot. So do I have to have this come this way? Still can't reach it. What about now? Okay, that's good. I try to keep a little bit of the contour that we had before, but I will end up blasting most of this away. And like I said before, have this come all the way up here and enter in this way. So this is very ugly. Yes, I am aware. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're going to try and make it work. Going to try and get some stuff done. But don't worry, there's plenty of other stuff we want to get to today as well. I didn't even have a chance. I was going to read it out um, 12 minutes ago, but then we had bad water flooding in. So we started with grease last time. We have the one grease factory. We have some storage uh, set aside for grease, but it can't be filled because we can't make enough to actually store any. So obviously we have to have more of this. That's part of what's happening here with this demolition. And then all of this has to get cleared out so we can take care of that as well. But that is a very long process. Um, we did more or less get mostly done with the blasting for this area. Uh, I did say that I was going to have this moved back, but this is currently kind of in a little bit of a crisis in terms of uh, how stuff is uh, being constructed. So I don't think we want to mess with that that much. Not for right now. At least we have plenty of wood being grown. No problems there. Uh, it's all cuttable by at least one of these lumberjacks. So everything should be, in theory, A-OK. -okay. And I, I have heard and lodged the complaints about the quarantine district here <laughs> being kind of a hellscape. And it needs, uh, in addition to water, it needs some extract storage for our... Uh, decontamination pods, which we want to be able to add additional ones in the event that we actually need to uh, take care of more beavers. But I will go ahead and build a medium tank and designate it as an extract holder. And we have the ability to not only um, defend it from the bad tides, but also beautify it a little bit by blocking the nasty tendrils of bad water with the help of our levees. So what I will do is I will just go ahead and make a nice little wall that nobody can see over. At least for uh, this time being. Just have to decide what I want to do about the back side of this. Yeah, this is not going to be pretty, but guess what? It's not an aesthetic build, so I can get away with it. I think for right now I'm actually okay just boxing in this bad water because we can always pump it out. I can put a pump in here and drain that real quick. But having, uh, having this actually kind of separated I think would be good. A couple people said, hey, you should put a crossing uh, over on this side. Well, I well, originally wanted to put some more power in. But I don't think we're going to be able to. So those of you who are not fans of the whole uh, don't put power wheels in the channel might want to look away as I put things that are not power wheels. Power wheels. That's the children's toy. Water wheels into the channel. But yeah, it's um, it's definitely something that needs to be fixed. I'm actually also thinking about removing this central strip of levees and giving the water a little bit more of a capacity and, I guess, infinite folding capability. I don't even know if that's how that works, but might actually try that since it's a three block wide. We could just kind of have this go the whole way up. I don't know. We have the ability to... Uh, Give it a try, see what works, see what doesn't. No harm in that. Plus, I can use the excuse of messing up as saying, hey, we're going to make good content. But no, I, I actually do try to play the game correctly. It's just sometimes I'm dumb. <laughs> I know, shocker. Um, is this 
all of this in place? I think so. So what, what needs to happen is this just needs to actually go all the way out here. I don't think I want to send the, uh, the bots out that far, but I'm actually kind of, uh, kind of curious here. Can I actually get them to go all the way out here to where this drops off? I really, really am curious. So, that being said, let's actually give it a shot here and see what we can get done. No real rhyme or reason to how I'm uh, laying these out, but just kind of generally want to keep this in the same area as the uh, center of the channel more or less, than just have this go out like that. I really want to see if they can actually make that happen, because if that's the case, then we'll just have super exit all the way out to the drain bit, which goes all the way over here. Quite the outflow. We also have this thing right here we've never tried to mess with, because we just, I guess, have been busy with all of our, oh my god, look at all that bad water. <laughs> That's why we have to have a higher wall here. That's the problem that we're, that we're having with our stuff. Oh boy. All right, so that's uh, that's going to keep them busy for a little bit of time. We'll, uh, we'll check back in with these guys later. But they, uh, they have enough, well, theoretically, they have enough explosives to take care of that. And this is going to take quite a long time to actually construct. So we'll have to leave them to that. This, meanwhile, is actually progressing quite well. We should be able to have this detonated. Uh, we'll have to take this structure down and probably just bridge across right here since these are not going to be connected forever. Actually, they're not connected at all anymore. So this actually will make things go substantially faster. Uh, but I'm going to have to build it backwards, I think. Unless they can build from standing on that side. In which case, that would actually be pretty impressive. But I don't know that they can, so we'll just kind of uh, leave that alone. Can they? Can they? Now, Well, now I'm actually curious. Go back up to three times speed. See if anybody... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, get that thing in there. All right, so we're actually making good progress with that. Love to see that. And this can be detonated one little bit at a time. And you know the drill. We'll just keep on keeping on. Get rid of the rest of this. And since this upstairs, I guess I could call it, isn't strictly speaking necessary anymore, we can just get rid of all this stuff and uh, all that stuff that's attached to it. Once we move all of the food processing down here, which is going to be probably what goes right around here. And if we have stable resources to make more bots, I do want to put another set of factories. But you have the ones you currently are using paused. Correct. Because I didn't want to use all the resources. But I think we're at a point now where I can turn this back on. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Bot part factories were turned off, but wow, we got a lot of bot chassis and heads, but not any limbs. Because <laughs> we uh we only paused the limb ones, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is done. Okay, so what that's going to allow us to do is just extend this way. And I believe. I'm just going to uh, completely straighten this channel. We'll make it three wide, which I know I should have uh, should have moved this over one, so we'll take the opportunity right now to do that. There we go. We'll just have this whole thing three-wided all the way down. And then, of course, we have to get rid of all of this land as well. But that's okay, because this is actually a much more convenient way to get around. We just uh, 
hadn't quite set it up that way. But I can't get rid of all of that yet until there's actually space for them to get across to the other side. I don't think it's I don't think it's really that big of a deal, honestly. But this is all gonna go away. And I will have this attached to maybe right here. And then we'll just we'll just blow this whole thing up. How about that? Let's solve all those problems at the same time. Oh, that does not need to be a triple dynamite. This can actually uh these should actually be doubles. So let's um let's decide how far we want this to go. I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. I just need this to be the same height as uh this little bit over here. So maybe maybe this entire bit on this side can just be uh just be two units tall. This for three, definitely, probably, definitely, probably. There we go. That's your, uh, that's your meism of the week here. Yeah, all of this, I guess. Well, we can always come back and make it, you know, explode more. That's always an option. And I think for right now, this is probably, probably fine. Yeah, so that can be double, but this definitely needs to be triple right here. And then, of course, we have to explode uh, the rest of this. But making pretty good progress here. I guess I can go ahead and set this off. I have a little bit more spot for water to go. But the folding is actually folding here. And I don't know how fast it's going. I probably should... probably should know... Um, yeah, they're going to be able to build, I guess I could just put this here, because that would be right in the middle of the folding thing, but it does look like that's going faster, I just don't have any uh, stream gauges, because I uh, kind of removed them all, but that's fine. Once this is all detonated, I will uh, remove uh, the doubt by putting another stream gauge in here, but I can't until I have this moved along. I actually don't know why they haven't done all this yet, because they can in fact reach all that. I guess they just don't have enough explosives. That's probably what it is. Alrighty. So once that's in place, see, I still have homeless beavers, so I, I don't really want to get rid of these row houses yet. But at the same time, uh, we kind of need to, because this, this whole thing is just kind of a disaster. This is our early game a solution for population. We're going to have to really do something a whole lot better. But that takes time. Something that we're not exactly uh, not exactly the best at. And we still need more uh, more bots in here, I know. But um, that's going to be uh, going to be a struggle. Fortunately, we don't have any beavers that actually need decontamination. So the fact that this isn't complete is totally fine. We don't need to spend time worrying about it. They can't reach down here, can they? No, let's give them a chance to actually construct all that. Uh, we will end up backfilling uh, once we have terraforming unlocked, uh, which I can actually unlock right now. I don't think we need to focus on that for uh, research purposes. We got plenty of other stuff to do. But I, I am very... Very interested in getting that taken care of a little bit better. All right, they got a few more of these dynamites to put in here, and I think we'll be in okay shape. How's this ridiculously dumb construction project going? Yep, that's right. That's exactly how I imagined that was going to uh, going to progress. So let's put a staircase there, and this is just a regular drought, not a bad tide, which is a good thing because I definitely forgot it was happening. All right, levees. Here, 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 and here. So what needs to happen is this whole thing needs to be gradually raised one block, which we will have to do in chunks. I guess that's 
what the term gradually means. Oh, you know what? I'm... Yeah, let's... Oh, I can't do that either. I don't have curved stairs. Gotta remember that. And this can just go all the way down. That should be okay if we connect with a path, which we will. Just run that down that way. Once the rest of this stuff gets all put in place, I think we're going to be fine. Should be in okay shape. Just need to make sure they can actually get to all this stuff. Hey, look, look how nice this is flowing in here. I want to put power in here so we can have chargers for the bots, but we are just so far away from that being a thing. All right, what's our water speed? Only 1.8? 1.7? No, 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 no. We gotta fix that. 1.5? Well, it is a drought, so. The good water sources are drying up, but no, we, we can go we can go so much faster with that. But hey, we're still making like well, we were making twelve hundred per until the drought started, so I guess it's you know, we're probably okay. Probably okay. And this is the right time to be doing this too, because hopefully by the end of the drought they'll have that taken care of. We'll see. Okay, right, this is ready. I still don't have I still don't have enough room to build another another set of these uh, industrial piles underneath. And for that to really uh, become much more of a thing, I'm going to have to get rid of all of this. Which I guess is okay. I guess it's fine. We still have almost 900 gears. So it definitely Definitely could be worse, but we're, we're really going to have to get on it after we take care of all that stuff. Fortunately, it looks like this is all good to go. So if we set this off. Oh, that actually doesn't look bad. Nice. So now we come in with the single deep dynamite. And I kind of want to just spill this in up here. Which means, oh, I definitely should have uh, definitely should have done this differently. But I guess what I can do is I can actually I can actually have this two block. Oh, is that built in diversion? I can do no. I want this to actually spill into the uh, the main channel. But I could have could have an emergency floodgate here, or even just a even just a damn piece, honestly. I think that would probably be smart in case of uh, overflow, but I'm going to have to put that at a, uh, a uh, too deep here. So. All right, that's an improvement. Uh, I think what's going to happen is these two blocks right here. Oh, no, because I don't have... Uh, I don't have levees there. I guess I need to detonate this, looks like, maybe. Because I really probably should have this come down from above, but I don't have the height to do that. Eh, it's fine. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. This can go, this can go, this can go, this can go. There we go. Look at that. Not gonna be able to build this, are you? I don't think you can, based on how this is uh, how this is looking here. Now I do have to be careful not to set this off first, or else, <laughs> or else they can't get in here to do what they're supposed to be doing. I don't know. This is just honestly kind of a disaster, <laughs> the way that I have this set up. I don't think they're going to be able to actually. Uh, do everything I'm wanting for them to do. But if I put stairs here, then they can at least come up and put the rest of that dynamite in. And then we can get rid of all of this. Because boy, is there a lot to uh, lot to take care of, a lot to fix here. And now I got 10 homeless beavers. How did that happen? How do I have more homeless beavers? How I, I paused the, I paused the breeding pods. Well, I'm sure there's some simple explanation. I just simply forgot. Oh, really? 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 You're dumb. 
You you are dumb, Ironbot 43. You're supposed to be smart. Robots are supposed to be intelligent beings. But uh, you know what the uh, you know what the old I, what is it a, a programmer's motto or whatever um, problem exists between keyboard and chair, or you're only as good as uh, the code you write or whatever. So the Beavers programmed this bot to do dumb things, and that's what it's going to do. I don't know how we got caught in here. I thought they would have built this one and this one first, but whatever. We can replace them. At least it's not an actual beaver that got stranded. That would be very annoying. But we'll be uh, we'll be fine. Now, how much of this? Okay, they haven't really gotten that much. They haven't gotten that much down here. But we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll be all right. The amount of pumping that's not happening is kind of alarming. I don't have enough bots, despite having four of these assemblers going. I think the problem is the limbs. Which actually should be supplied, uh, prioritized by haulers. So let's, um... Oh, they're both down here. Let's, let's do, uh, let's do both of those real quick. All right, how are we looking over here? Is this, uh, improved at all? Somehow I doubt that it has yet. Yeah. Oh, the, the whole you can't build down from a staircase thing is really dumb. I feel like they should be able to uh, should be able to do this, but I guess not. Well, fortunately, they can get up here, which means I can get rid of this, which means they should be able to walk over here now. So that's fine, I suppose. Now oh, I can set this off. Should have done that a long time ago. Okay, so we're about halfway. We'll let that all go in one bit, because I feel like that's going to be, excuse me, entertaining to watch. You stupid bot. You're supposed to have good pathfinding. I guess not. I actually want to know, bots-wise, who's got grease? Okay, we have a plus one buff. We have a bunch of zeros, and that's the idiot that got stuck. I don't have any control towers. I don't have enough science for that. Uh, and there seems to be a very vocal crowd about number crunchers, which I really do not like. The the item, not the people. The people are fine. But um, I guess we do have the extra capacity to make some. I just don't have anywhere to put one right now. Unless I were to... Oh, I could actually technically, I think, put one here if I really wanted to. Is that going to fit? No, I need one more. Yeah, come, come grab that. There you go. I think that should work. It should make at least a little bit of uh, science for us. Because we're making tons and we're not using all of it, so. In this specific case, it makes sense. Uh, the other playthrough, um, oh, what is it? The the live stream one diorama. People keep asking for number crunchers. There's absolutely no reason to because we have a ton of science. It's just completely pointless. But this is working now, so uh, we get 10 science per hour, which is helpful. Should be nice. I'm just kind of at a loss with uh, what to do here. Probably, probably. I should have been a little bit more uh, deliberate in what I was actually trying to do here. So that needs to be, it actually needs to go four levels down, which I don't know that I can do. I don't know that I can do from here. So I'm just going to go two. I will go two levels down here. So then they can uh, do that with the rest of this. I'm not going to set these off yet. But that should allow them to get down there. And then I have to remove this piece by piece to put the, <laughs> to put the rest of this stuff in here. Ah, yes. The joys of uh, 
trying to figure out how to play a game you've been playing for years because they've changed mechanics on you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just leave space here for three more pods if we choose to uh, want those. And uh, this whole whole thing that I was mentioning earlier, we really need to have another district crossing between these two, even if we don't use it. Well, even if we don't use it that much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, let's just say, because this is already here, let's just put this right here. And then we can come around the side. I know it's not going to block all of the bad, nasty water. Actually, I love the guy just completely turned around. Let's put that here and uh, shift this over one tile. There we go, just like that. And this can go just like so, and that leaves us space behind to put in a bunch of this stuff. Now, I know because these bots are dumb, I'm going to have to build it like this. But that's the price you pay for some dumb artificial intelligence. That's going to be... I guess I could go down to two on... Uh, probably this district's so small, I could just have one on either side. And that should be okay. St oh, there's no bots here. Did I banish them? Or did I just run out of bots? I have 10... I have 10 bots with no jobs. Okay, um... What's my... Oh! I don't have a minimum of bots. That's what happened. They all decayed. So let's see. One, two, three, four... Five, I guess. Five bots was what we decided we needed. So we'd have... Yeah, one here. Well, I don't really need two in the district center. One here, one here, one here. One here... I guess that's it. I think that's all I actually need. I could have... I could just have four. Let's do that. Four. And then... Oh, actually, I don't have any contaminated beavers to force them in here. I'd be interested to see if it actually kept the setting that I uh, I think I had it set to, like, I don't know, 100. or was some very high number of contaminated beavers minimum required in this district. So that would be interesting to see if that stayed what it was supposed to be. Yeah, we gotta get, uh, gotta get the rest of this taken care of here, and I think, I think I'm safe enough to do this. Uh, we're gonna have this actually be like a step up and over, so I could fully enclose this. But that's gonna take a little bit of work to do. We're getting there, folks. Very, very slowly. That's ready. So now now the fun fun part begins. It's where I have to <laughs> where I have to do each of these one by one until this whole thing is just completely done. Alright, so let's go check on this. How far I cannot Oh! Okay, we're actually almost done. So by the time they're finished with this, we'll be able to set this off. That'll be nice. I believe, yep, that's all done. We'll wait until the sun's up so we can actually watch it, but that'll be uh, be nice to have the actual evacuation channel all good to go. And look at me, I'm already at 40 minutes, huh? And I told myself I was going to try and keep these shorter. We haven't gotten anything done yet. We got to fix that. All right, I'm not going to kill any bots, right? So let's uh, single time speed, just because we can. Set this off. And now we can just go annoyingly slow behind all of these explosions. Just kidding. Oh, it got angry when I clicked two mouse buttons at once. Okay. Alright. That was a little anticlimactic, but should have a, uh, a much greater outflow here which hopefully will stop some floods. Yeah, it's actually lowered the uh, it's lowered the water level quite a bit, which is good. That's what we wanted. Let's let's not be uh, mistaken there. Power up seems to be roughly the same. This is 
flowing out quite fast. So that's good to see. I don't dare close this because every time I do, bad things happen. This guy is still stuck. Oh, and they can't build this because he's in the way. Oh, are you serious? I'm just oh, stupid idiot. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to really get rid of this and put in some stairs, huh? That seriously, I'm gonna have to do that. Well, that's a pain. I gotta say, the pathfinding in this game is garbage. It is actual garbage. But we'll get over it. It's fine. All right, we're still not flooded here, which is good. Once this gets redirected, I think this will be quite nice. We just got a lot to do. So I want to see how well this can keep up with uh, the full onslaught after the drought's done. That would be very, uh, very interesting. And also makes me think that I would actually be in the right to blast this channel down here. This is only 1.1 CMS. I could very easily just uh, get rid of all of these in the center and uh, enjoy that, I guess. All right. So we're ready for another round of just plopping individual sticks of dynamite, or I guess in this case, double sticks of dynamite. Well, we got time. Got one day left in the drought. And I guess I need to actually commit. We only have the one homeless beaver. We actually have 10. We have 10. Imp oh, no, that's right here. That's our uh, that's our extra extra free beds. Should have known that's what that was. I don't know why I did not put two and two together. Some of you can probably guess. But now, if I get rid of all of these, yes, uh, come randomly in here for no reason to just build that. Thank you. Mmm, the game blipped for a second. If it crashes, I'm going to be very upset. That's uh, not something I would like to experience today. Yeah, let's let's build these two, please. Thank you. Preferably with no bots getting stuck. That would be ideal. We also still need a name for this district. We have some suggestions from last video, but uh, do remember that you can submit those, and we'll vote before the next episode of this series on Sunday. Uh, if you have not seen my other videos, I'm moving all of my series to twice weekly, the video series to twice weekly, so this series will be Thursdays and s Sunday. Just did, did I do my math wrong? Yeah, Thursdays and Sundays. The Folktales series will be Tuesdays and Fridays, and the Water Beavers will be Wednesdays and Saturdays, I believe is the system I came up with. I don't have anything for Mondays currently, so either those will stay as... Uh, live stream only days or I might put city skylines in there if it ever decides to cooperate with me but uh, for right now that's what our schedule is looking like so you can look forward to all three of these series spaced evenly throughout the week so that you don't have in some cases three back-to-back -back videos of over an hour apiece because that's a lot to get through it's a lot to record all at once too so we can uh can hopefully look forward to that all right so before the Good water comes back in. We're sitting just under 900 apiece in all of these wheels, which is still more than we're using. So no room for complaints there. We are hopefully, for the end of this episode, this looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> for the end of this episode, hopefully we can make uh, all of this set up correctly. I can actually, the way this is now, I can just detonate all these at the same time, and I think we'll be okay. But as this water comes back in, let's check and see if this has decreased our power capacity because of blasting this exit channel out. But I, I do think this is smart to do, to just have this ready to go. It all <laughs> kind of almost all fits in here. Now I want to know how fast this water is coming out here. It would be really funny if this was the fastest, uh, fastest water right here because it's actually just infinitely folding as it goes down. So we'll put a, put a little stream gauge there. We'll see what happens. And I did say I was going to put another one here as well, so I will do that. How, how are these looking? 
Okay, still hovering about the same. 1.1, that is shamefully slow. But that's fine. I'll set this off because we need to get this set up. That should be fine uh, once I have this in place. So we'll see if we need to uh, do anything else with that. But that will work there. I probably, probably should have uh, should have this be three wide, but I think I can fold it to the point where it will be uh, just a little bit faster and fit through the same amount of space. And if not, then, well, whatever. It's fine. We don't need to revolve our lives around water folding. Alright, so it still hasn't sped up very much yet. Now, though, let's check this. 4.2? Okay, now 3.8, but what about at the end? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Seven, it was 7.9 when I clicked on it. Okay, okay. So, there is truth to the, uh, the concept of the water folding. Oh, they don't have... Oh, we out of explosives already after all this? Well, that can't be true. That's annoying. That would actually be kind of irritating for us to us to keep up with. All right, we'll put that there. And then uh, I do want to fill this in with actual land at some point, but we're not there. So what I will do instead is I will just fill this. The old-fashioned way. By building a whole lot of levees and using a lot of wood that I probably don't have to use. That's fine. We have the technology. What is that? The six million dollar man? Oh no, there's still bad water. You're going to have poisoned land. Yeah, that's, that's how it works. But you forget that we have other technology that we can use to pump all of this garbage out. Well, some of this garbage because I don't have a I don't have a platform sitting here, but I can... Pro oh, that's actually really deep. Uh, 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 well, if I do that, it solves that problem. And we'll just put a little bad water pumping station here. Um, make sure this is set for bots only, which it is. And that solves that problem. This is already starting to... Uh, already starting to go down, but we'll... Uh, We'll give our bots something to do while there's no uh, beavers to take care of. So that'll be fine there. Now, are we making any progress here? Or we're just waiting for... Uh, oh, we're just waiting for a beaver to actually come and uh, fix us. Or a bot. Alright, so I put these stairs in here. we got to take those out now. And then replace with a levee. So they can finally finish building the rest of this. And hopefully nobody else gets stuck, because that would be supremely irritating. Alright, that's ready to go. And now the really fun, dumb, stupid part happens where we <laughs> have to get all this done. And then pretty soon it's just going to be this one little bridge, and then that will go away also, because we don't need it. But then what I can do, or actually I don't have to wait, I could just uh, just put this here so we can build this one little levee. They could not build because there was a beaver stuck in it who tragically passed away because of his uh, fellow beavers betraying him. That's the official story. That's what the beaver police report will say. So that has to mean it's true, right? Uh, 4.6 here, so has not sped up that much. But we're almost back up to 1,200, so I think this is the way to go. 2.2. I'm going to go ahead and make the executive decision to just get rid of this bit in the middle here. And see 
how fast this speeds things up. Okay, okay, I see 12, 12, 20 for a second before it went back down. But I think that might uh, might be the ticket. Yeah, here we go, here we go. 1280, 1290, 1300. Yeah, nice. Now, oh, now it's really going up. 1380, 1390, you're going to hit 14? Mm, there we go, there we go. Okay, well, that's worth it for an extra couple hundred apiece. That is a big improvement. So now these need to be triples right here. I guess I should have them actually collect all this stuff, but they kind of can't reach it. So I think, uh, oh, we can, yeah, we can set this off. I think. Nope, I need one more. I need one more. Almost, almost made a mistake. Yeah, we'll put this guy in because that would be very hard to get to because of the uh, elevation changes. Maybe not. Maybe not that hard. That's done. How fast are we going now? Okay, now it's slowing back down. Well, once everything is actually, you know, running through here correctly, I think we'll be okay. I'm going to play with fire and I'm going to close this. And let's see how much more bad water gets shoved through here. So I don't see any, I don't see the level. Oh, duh. This is, it's all is still here. <laughs> Oh, man. That's actually made it slower. I don't know how. Don't know how they did it. But it made it worse. Okay, so this has to be triples. Yes. Mm, yeah, that's fine. I am going to go ahead and detonate that. Oh. Yep. Um. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, right? Now I gotta, I gotta put this in so that can stop things from going out. What I was thinking about, if I was gonna do folding, I would have to have this blasted out a little more over here, but I actually don't even have room for it, so I think we'll just live with it for now. But I can... I can actually just set this off. I don't think there's any danger to any beavers. So let's uh let's do a little bit of a different angle here. So the sun comes up nice and centered. That's an exciting one. All right. So now that's in place. Uh, I'm going to put a temporary levy of uh, just that bit right there so it actually goes all the way down. Oh yeah, there we go. That was at 14 something when I clicked on it. Current's not quite fast, but I think it'll get there once this speed comes from up here. Okay, that's that's done. I think this is fine. Once water is actually getting pushed out of this, it shouldn't uh, redirect into it. So that's good. We can get rid of that. Now the problem is I don't have a mechanism to get across here to fill this hole back in. As much as I might like it to be filled back in. We also have a bunch of these uh, blocks here that I wanted to put back in place or add, but I don't have confidence that my builders won't uh, subject themselves to horrible poison deaths. That being said, let's... Oh, I got a lot of extra bots. We can uh, take a look at our builder's huts. Uh, they're, oh, these three were not bots. Now those are bots. Uh, district centers should not all be bots, but guess what they are now? That solves that problem. Which means I can actually send a bot through here to uh, construct everything if I have that lift on lift. Left on pause, I think we should be okay. If I put just a staircase here, 
Uh, yep, we'll do that. I might as well just actually remove this whole thing and just have this, uh... Oh, look at me and my dumb self. Here we go. Um... <laughs> I forgot what I was attempting to do here. That's fine. They can uh, they can work on that. I will have to put some storage for logs. Let's put that right here. Set to obtain. There should not be any uh, any possibility for beavers to get poisoned going through here. How are my uh, how are my haulers set up? Okay, these are still all beavers, but there should not be any reason for them to come in here, so I'm going to trust them that they won't do that. All right, so now all this water is coming out here, which seems to be better. What's our speed like? Slower. But it's also not in the channel. So, uh, truth be told, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> not in the slightest. But this is faster. Kind of. Is this empty? Yes, it is. All right. That's done. I guess this isn't really uh, going to do anything until this is closed in. But that's uh, fine, I suppose. Oh, this is only uh, only applicable to be uh, beavers. Bots in this district because of how I have the path set up. All right. I guess that makes sense. Should have expected that. As long as these are only bots coming over here, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Hey, remember when I said I was going to expand the industrial district and then we didn't do that because I was so busy with all this other garbage? Yeah, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Um, the good news is a lot of this has been uh, correctly constructed. Actually, almost, almost all of it. So all we have to do now... Well, at least for this part of the map, all we have to do is finish that. And then I think we'll be in uh we'll be in okay shape. I know we still have to do this bit and we haven't gotten to that, but we will at some point we're going to have to uh, find a way to do that. Now, the other problem is uh I built these water pumps to where they uh, would just barely sit on top of the water and I used the wall as part of the walkway. So I think we're going to have to tear these out and rebuild them, which is unfortunate. But if we take a look at the way these platforms are, these are already at the maximum depth. And we could have uh, could have gone a, a couple tiles deeper actually but if we move it up one tile which the point I was trying to make is that it'll be level with this which I guess is fine that should work okay we we just got so much to do it is hard to <laughs> to get a whole bunch of stuff done in one uncut episode of fumbling around and trying to figure out exactly what you're doing here that is what I do, so I guess we can live with that. should be fine. Well, the good news is I really wanted to make sure that this would be uh, a little bit nicer looking, which, well, I mean, once the bad water's pumped out, it will be. Uh, it's not going to be that much longer that this is a super hideous, ugly, nasty place. And hopefully we don't have to send beavers there, but if we do, then it can be, well, a little bit nicer. We can take care of everything else. I did not build anything else in this industrial area except a number cruncher, which I know some of you are going to be very, very happy about anyway, so that's fine. Uh, what's our minimum Badwater Creek needs to be? 22 bots. And here in the main Beaverburg district that I never actually renamed Beaverburg 13, so let's... Beaverburg, there you go. Beaverburg 13 properly named after only 17 and a half episodes. But we're going to have to get back to this next episode. I know, I know that's frustrating. <laughs> but 
but there's only so much we can do. And until you guys are begging me to do cut down edited videos, this is uh, that's what we're rolling with. But we did almost put levees around this entire little quarantine district. We did put extract storage here, even if it's not really populated that much. We did fix the inflow of bad water to this area. And we did at least start taking care of this. Now, if the beavers don't cross the bridge, we're good. I don't think they will need to cross the bridge. So we might actually be okay. Now, now the fun's going to begin when we have, uh, <laughs> we have all of this in place. Because, boy, howdy, let me tell you, this is going to be a bloodbath if I get this wrong. But I think we're going to be... I think we're going to be okay. Is our speed any faster here? No! But this is, well, kind of wildly oscillating between values. But that's okay. We've got plenty to do next time, at the very least. And I think we're going to be in a really good spot once I can get all of this taken care of a little bit better. They might actually finish putting all this, uh, all this levy stuff in here. And if that's the case, then we could actually conceivably have uh, this quote-unquote water folding more or less done to the point where I'm not going to want to worry about it again. Even if it's not perfect, even if it's not correct, etc., whatever. Because you guys don't want to see 8 billion episodes of that. But I think this was good. We've got a lot more throughput at the very least. And now we're crying about what? About not having water. We have tons of water. We have tons of food. Just eat something. Corn rations are low. We don't have corn. Well, we got to figure something out because a, a bunch of this is messed up with food, but that could be next time. We're not going to starve to death. We're just going to have weird weird food for a while, I guess. We got lots to, uh, lots to still get to, but I do, I do think we got a decent bit of stuff done today, even if we didn't get to everything. So all that being said, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. Hopefully uh, you're getting something out of this. If you are, thanks. Let me know. If you're not, also let me know. Let me know what you want to see, what you'd want to do differently or whatever. Because remember, this is a let's play. This is not a watch me play. So I, I do actually read all the comments. And I, at the very least, take your feedback into consideration even if it's something that we can't do or I, I don't think is a good idea, I do actually value your input. So I very much look forward to uh, interacting with you in the comments in that way. And also just want to take a second to recognize the Beard Boosters, as always, for their fantastic support, making it possible for me to keep doing this every day, at least through the end of 2023. And we'll see what happens in the future with regard to a posting schedule and everything. But the support has been tremendous. The channel has grown so much in the past month now since the uh, release of update five for timberborn and i really really am truly appreciative of all the support all the enthusiasm on the videos and everything um so yeah the metrics have been absolutely off the charts and it is just so much fun to watch those watch those numbers every day and see how stuff is performing and everything and how pe people are engaging it's, it's just a really fun experience and i'm glad that uh, we can share that together so whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day have fun, stay safe, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.